How much do you know about the three territories? Practically everyone who lives in Canada's three territories has heard it before. Do you guys live in igloos? Is it dark all the time? Are there any roads up there? In case this wasn't covered in social studies, let's start off with an easy one. The capital of Yukon is... Whitehorse. Not Yellowknife and certainly not Yellow Horse. Whitehorse, the Vancouver of the North, the Wilderness City, Starbucks, skiing, angled parking. The Yukon is rich in indigenous and gold rush history, mountains and a thriving arts and culture scene. To be sure, Yukon is not, and never has been, in the United States, though it shares a close connection with its Alaskan neighbors and northern BC. Then we have Yellowknife, the capital of the Northwest Territories, the diamond capital of North America. The NWT is the home of the Ice Road Truckers, the Ice Pilots, Superman actress Margot Kidder, and X-Men's Wolverine. Known for ravens, houseboats, and northern lights, Denny Hand Games, Bannock, and Caribou, Yes, there are roads with stoplights, and yes, there are trees. From Yellowknife, Iqaluit is a mere 2,200 kilometers away. It's the capital of Nunavut, Canada's youngest territory. It's about 84% Inuit. Known for blizzards, its barren land, and scary wildlife, Nunavut is rich in culture, from carvings to hunting, sewing, and country food. Do residents live in igloos? <coughs> nope. While igloo is the Inuktitut word for home, people actually live in houses, just like everyone else in Canada. We are not shrouded in darkness all day every day, nor are we draped in snow all year. At the dead of winter in the capital cities, we'll see several hours of daylight. But in places like Inuvik and way up in Greece Fjord, the sun won't come up for about a month. But hey, that's just winter. Those communities see 24 hours daylight in the summer. And did you know Yellowknife is one of Canada's sunniest cities? Okay, okay, only in the spring and summer, but it is spectacular in the land of the midnight sun, where yes, you can tee off on the sand golf course at midnight. Now you can wow your friends with your knowledge of the north, so what else do you want to know about the three territories? <laughs>